Okay, so what do these output characteristics look like for a um, real transistor? Okay, so for a real BJT, we know that a real BJT does not actually become short circuit. It has a, it has a small voltage about 0 0.2 volt uh, when it becomes saturated. So uh, for a real BJT, the curve is well, a little bit like this. Okay. The blue curve. Okay. This this part this is about zero point two volts. Okay. Similarly, the curve for a, a real MOSFET or a real FET does not exactly match uh, like this one. What happens is that in a real FET, um, there is some resistance uh, the, uh, when the MOSFET enters the trial region. Okay, So, for a real FET, the graph is a bit like this. Okay, As you can see, I am uh, I'm not drawing the blue part completely straight in both these regions. Okay, this is because uh, we are assuming for an ideal ideal transistor, the output current is constant when it is in the amplification region, right? But in real real transistors, you usually don't see a constant current. The current actually increases very slowly. Okay, the output current increases very slowly. But um, you can see the similarity. I mean. Um, it is just a little way off from the ideal behavior. Okay. So um, that's about it for the fundamentals of transistors. All right. So um, well, that was those were the basics of transistors. What are the IV characteristics of transistors and transfer characteristics of transistors and how, what happens in real transistors? and how do you construct amplifiers using transistors all the basics have been covered so in the next week's lectures you will be learning how to solve circuits using uh, if uh, using uh, that have transistors in them okay so thank you for patiently listening to all the lectures all right hopefully uh, we will meet again next week thank you